<laughs> what else is in that beer? <laughs> okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to show you what's wrong sometimes with literal, and then I want to, to, to juxtapose it to the power of other ways of using language. So, uh, this is a song that I wrote. It's called, uh, the title's pretty sweet, True Worship Song, It's Awesome. <laughs> Respond a certain way to a refrain. Our synapses send signals all along to our cerebral cortex when we sing along, when we acknowledge divine reliance. We're also talking about neuroscience. <laughs> all that great matter, it feels so fine when we sing about that which we call divine. <laughs> layers of crap to this song. <laughs> but I would argue one of the central promises is, does that in any way open your soul up to the infinite? <laughs> Why? Because it's literal. By the way, let's just pause for a moment. No one takes the Bible literally. No one. If that's the case, every Baptist man would be blind. <laughs> so... <laughs> to say is you read it liter literally. You approach it and you under, is this a poem? Is this a saying? Is this a romance? Is this a lament? Is this historical narrative? Is this gospel? Are you with me? Yes. What you do is you respect it for what it is. So we have seen, perhaps, the problem with literal language. Now, contrast that with this. Ha, 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 ha. 